won't, and you can't make me. Whatever, shut up. Hey, everybody. Hi. Welcome to our next installment in House of Leaves on the Drunken, Drunken Library. Library. All right, so we are significantly more drunk this week, and I am significantly more irritated with this book. Same. This book is some bullshit, and I am calling everybody's bluff who claims that they love it. All right. Do you love it because you're supposed to, or do you love it because it's actually good? And if it's actually good, please explain why. I mean, like, the, the story. story. Okay, yes, the story, the story is fine. Good, but it's I enjoyable. Can't, I can't enjoy the story the way that I should because it's so fucking stupid trying to read it. It's hard because, like, it's not even, like, the footnotes and the shit that doesn't exist and shit that's not real and shit, but, like... Other shit that's stupid and it's like fake articles and shit and it's n- nothing. nobody got time for nothing that nonsense. Nothing is real and nothing even needs to be there. This book could be like two hundred pages instead of seven hundred and five or whatever the shit is. Real though, like an index. Do I need an index? Do I need to know how many times they say the word grave in this book? No, no. I don't. But you can suck my dick. Yeah, seriously. And like, I just I don't. And Johnny, Johnny Truman, who's the character who's putting the whole dissertation thing together, he is getting annoying. The more I read of his stuff, like, the less I give a shit about who he's sleeping with or why he's taping measuring tapes to his walls. I don't care. You don't live in the house. Your house isn't changing. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, just, like, the whole, the only part that's the actual story about what's happening with the house... Is good. It's good. It's good. It's very minimal. And in this little section, there was a little more of it. There was. A smidge. A smidge more of it. Mm -hmm. Or it was, like, less interrupted while it was happening by, like, footnotes and shit. But, like, I just... There's not enough of it. Like, this book is supposed to be about the house, and it's just really not. And excuse me, but we already read about the fucking Minotaurs. Like, I already read it. You know I already read it because I've been reading this stupid book. <laughs> stupid. And, like, I love, love Roman and Greek mythology. That's, like, my thing. It's her thing. She has a thing. That's a thing. I have, like, a Latin tattoo on my arm that's a reference to, like, my favorite Roman poet because I have one. one of those. Right. Like, I love the Minotaur and, like, the Labyrinth and all of that. But, like, even I was like, dude, chill the fuck out. <laughs> right, and what the fuck is the point of referencing us to reread shit we already read that's gonna have a footnote to something else that we read the first time that we read it? And the first time that that got referenced, it got referenced four times because those footnotes directed you back to the same footnotes again. Stop. Just stop. Just don't do it. It's not necessary. We're not fans. The story itself is getting, like, really intriguing at this point, but I just, I feel myself not wanting to pick this up and read it because I just, it's too, it's excessive. Too it's too much, much other shit going on. It's too much. I don't want to read about echoes. I don't want to read about labyrinths. I don't want to read about... It's psychological shit from the teachers of the kids of the dude no, in the house. and then that shit came up, like, twice because it was from her perspective, and then it was from their perspective. Yeah. Why? I just feel like the experience of reading it isn't fun for me, and, you know, mm. that's really disappointing because I love reading so much, and I love the process of reading. In most books, like, I get completely sucked into the world. And, like, I want to know what happens. And, like, most of these characters I don't care about. One we cared about just died. Yeah, what's this bullshit? Way to bullshit? ruin everything in this book that I cared about. Yeah. <laughs> the house right now is actually striking out against them. And that's how our favorite character, Tom, <clears throat> our collective favorite character, Tom, uh, died is because the house started, like, caving in on the Everybody. inhabitants. Mm. And this is the first time that the house has actually gotten violent. Yeah. Uh, before that, the house would just, like, expand or contract or do mm. what it's sort it does. of, like, consequences of the environment versus physical attacking. 
but like Slowly. the house started to like the roof just caved in. And the walls started going. The walls ape started shit. going ape shit. The, the floor floors just like disappeared. Going all ape shit. It turned into like a quicksand kind of situation. Yeah, like it's banana sandwich. He did shit in the corner though. Everybody shit somewhere. Try to play it off like the main dude, camera father, husband dude is gonna die. But I'm but like, he doesn't. But he's the and one then they that keep referencing the that he edits the video and then so he comes like, back and gets the tape. So I know yeah, he lives like, through the whole thing. You know that he's fine. And so I'm not really invested in his future because I know he makes it out okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume <laughs> that it's like. House of Leaves, a la George R. R. Martin, and everybody dies. This is what I'm going to assume. I'm just going to assume. I mean, Fuck but it. there's... Oh, why'd they kill him? Why did they kill forever. him? Everybody I love. Stop burping so much. <laughs> make me. I don't want a book to make me mad. That's not why I read. Like, every once in a while, sure, but like... I'm also just upset about that dog I forgot about until now. I'm dizzy for you. Yeah, so that is our take on this chunk of House of Leaves. Next week, we should be able to get through the, the rest, rest of, of it. it. Oh, which boy. seemed like it would be... Oh, it's weird. It's a weirdly written and weirdly divided, but we'll get through the rest of it, and then we can tell you guys if there was some crazy ending that made us change our minds. But right now, I'm just not loving it. Super not McDonald's a fine situation. Dude, seriously though. Um, but let us know what you think and try not to be too spoilery if you've read it. Seriously, but, if you've um, read it, we want to know what you think. Like, really. <laughs> seriously. <laughs> Comment below. Let us know what you think. How you felt. If you loved it. Because I've got friends who fucking loved it. But it's just it. not my thing. But um, yeah, find us on all the social media. Links down below. Have a great day. Bye.